hello everyone so welcome back to another tutorial and today in a quick short tutorial i'm gonna show you how to update name servers for your google domains and to do so it uh, uh, it's really simple to do so and for this you will have to first visit this url domains.com domains.google.com slash registrar and if you have only a single account uh, domain connected to your google domains account it will directly take you to the settings page if you have multiple domains connected to your google domains account you will have to click in, on this option all my domains and here you will see a list of all domains connected to your account so just select the domain you want to change name servers for and then click on manage and now it will take you to that domains uh, settings so to do update the name servers or dns um, you can either click on this option edit dns settings or on the left side by you will see this dns option just click on any of the option and it will take you to this page and the first option itself is the name server settings okay so there are two options you can either use the google domain name servers or use your custom name servers now the easiest way is to use uh, your custom name servers that is provided by your hosting company so in this case all your dns related to settings will be managed by your hosting company so that's the most easiest way and is recommended so to find the name servers um, it is mostly uh, all hosting companies basically send this in the, the welcome email so you can check the find it there or if you cannot find it there just google go to google and type like um, name servers for hostgator or any other company okay and then it will take you to this page you can search for that and here you will be able to find or they will provide you information where to find the uh, the name servers so here like uh, hostgator is showing how to find your name servers so that's how simple it is and then um, if it is selected google domain name servers change it to use custom name servers and then click on edit now these two fields will become editable and you can add as many as 12 custom name servers um, that is uh, allowed by Google domains. So if you have um, some hosting companies provide like four name servers. So to add more, click on this plus icon and this you can add as many as 12. Okay. And once you've uh, done this, you can just paste the name servers here and then click on save. Okay so now it will show you a message that your changes will take like 48 hours so um, usually it is done in two to four hours so you do not have to worry about it and um, and the, basically the rest of the settings will become useless as you are uh, using custom name servers and all the dns related settings is managed by your hosting company okay so um, uh, and the disadvantage of this is you will not be able to use like you can see a message here that uh, you cannot use the email forwarding feature or workspace email feature so basically that's a different topic and if you want to learn how to forward email from google domains um, you can watch my other video the link will be in the description and um, the main difference between th these two options are with the google domain name servers you will have to fill all the settings by yourself which is not recommended for beginners and um, it can be a little complicated so it's much easier to use the custom name servers uh, then all your dns related settings for your website will be managed by your hosting company okay so if you want you can also use this and if you want to learn just put in the comments that you want to learn how to use the google domain name servers and uh, manage the settings yourself i will be soon putting a video about this too so i hope you found this video useful and um, if you want to learn email for how to email forward um, then watch my other video the link will be in the description and that's it for this video i will see you in the next video